Hi friends, it's Miss Allie from the East Cobb Library, part of the Cobb County Public Library System. I'm glad you're here today for Family Art Time. It's November, that's Native American Heritage Month. What does that mean? That's some big words. Native Americans are people whose ancestors lived here in the Americas before settlers came from overseas. So what is heritage? Heritage means learning about the culture and traditions of a certain group of people, in this case, the Native Americans. So that's what we're gonna learn about today. We're gonna start with this fun book. It's called 10 Little Rabbits. It's by Virginia Grossman and Sylvia Long. The rabbits in this book represent different Native American tribes or nations. So let's look at the pictures and see how differently they all dressed got a beautiful pattern to start out. It's a, a woven pattern. So remember, weaving and woven. We're going to learn about that today. This one is weaving on a loom using yarns and threads. This one is weaving a basket using sticks and reeds and straw. Look at the beautiful pattern. Okay, here we go. One lonely traveler riding on the plane. It's not an airplane though. It's a different kind of plane. That means the flatlands in the middle of the Americas. Two graceful dancers asking for some rain. They're wearing their brilliant costumes with these instruments to do a rain dance. Three busy messengers sending out the news. How are they sending the news? I don't see a TV. No, it's a different kind of news. They have a fire burning and the smoke is coming up and they use their woven blanket, raising it up and down to send smoke signals to, so that the other tribesmen on the other part of the plains can see what's happening. I see some smoke signals coming over here. Now, four clever trackers looking for some clues. See, they've got their bows and arrows. They're hunting. I see great big footprints. It looks like bears. Do you think these little rabbits could catch a bear? I don't know. Oh, brr, five storytellers trying to keep warm. They're sitting around their fire on the cold, snowy night. Six nimble runners fleeing from a storm. Oh, the sky's getting dark. The rain is coming. Oh, and seven merry mischief makers playing hide and seek. This one's blindfolded so he can't see where they're hiding. Look, there's one hiding in the little hollow log. Oh, eight patient anglers fishing in a creek. What's an angler? Do you know? Have you heard that word? That's another word for fishermen. See the fish in the creek? Oh, I wonder if they'll catch something. He's about to scoop one up in a net, I think. He's got a worm on his hook. Nine festive drummers beating on a drum. This one great big drum is big enough for all nine of them. Look at the beautiful wooden carvings that they've painted. That is so pretty. And they've got special masks on. These are things that represent their Indian nation. Do you like to make music? I do. Ten sleepy weavers knowing day is done. See the sun is setting? They're all wrapped up in their different woven blankets that represent their different Native American nations or tribes. Uh, they're all asleep. Let's count them. Make sure they're all here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's the end. They're going to sleep. This book is really neat because at the end it shows you all these different woven patterns from the different tribes or nations and tells you a little bit about them. That was a fun book. I think of beautiful pictures. We're going to make something beautiful too. We're going to weave something. So get your supplies ready. We're going to make a fun woven craft. Okay, y'all ready for a craft? You got all your supplies out? So we've got paper strips and we've got a big green paper with little slits in it. What in the world are we making? We're making a woven paper blanket. When it's all done, it'll look something like this. 
because we're trying to do something like the little rabbits did in the book. They had woven blankets. But instead of using yarn, we're going to use paper. What is this going to be when it's done? If you want, you could hang it up on your wall, or maybe you want to use it as a placemat, whatever you want to do with it. Now, see how we've got a pattern here? We've got the wide one in the middle, and then two narrow ones, and then the three medium ones, and alternated the colors. I thought that made a really pretty pattern. And see how it's all muted tones? It's not super bright, because when people were dyeing their yarns, they would just use things in nature, like different grasses or leaves, different barks, berries. So usually the tones would be very soft like this, instead of big bright orange or blue or purple, because they're working with what they have. So let's start weaving. The key to weaving, to always remember, is over under. All right, so we're going to start on the end. It's easiest to start on the end. I learned that the hard way. So we're going over under the first one and over the second one, then under. So we just keep going under, over, <laughs> alternating. Over, under, over, under, all the way across. There we go. Then just slide it all the way to the end and get your next strip. Okay, then we'll use the tan one. So this one started under. So our next one, we've got to start over. That's what makes the pretty pattern, because we alternate it, changing from one to the other. And it's okay, it's a little challenging, but that's okay. We're working our fingers, getting our fine motor skills going, our hand-eye coordination, getting some nimbleness to our fingertips. All right, let's get the next one. So we had the under, then we had an over, so now we need to do another under. Here we go, under, then over. Okay, I know some of you are gonna just fly through this, it'll be really easy, but some of you may take a little longer and that's okay. And you might decide to do a completely different pattern. This is the pattern I thought looked really pretty, so that's why I decided to do it like this. Okay. There we go, then to just slide it close to the others. There you go. If we were really making a blanket, it'd have to be nice and tight to keep us warm. So this is our paper blanket. You know, you could use it as a placemat or a wall hang, or maybe you wanna use it with your stuffed animals to, for have them to have a little rug. So you're just gonna repeat it over, under, over, under, alternating till you're all filled up, and then it'll be done. If you choose to, you can take a little bit of glue stick and glue down the ends, but you don't have to. It stays just fine without it. Well, I hope you had fun learning a little bit about Native American culture, and I hope you had fun making our craft. I'm glad you were here today. We'll see you next time.